G'day, welcome to Truck and Bus TV. We're here in Adelaide today for the launch of the new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van range. There's a whole world of new technology and development from Mercedes-Benz in this van. So let's jump in one, take it for a drive and see what it's like on the road. Mercedes-Benz leads the van market and holds close to 40% of sales. And this new Sprinter should help keep the three-pointed star at the head of the pack for some time to come. Benz claims there are now more than 1,700 different Sprinter variants though the various options and body types with range covering everything from construction sites to luxury minibuses. It's now available in front drive along with the traditional and well-proven rear drive models, while the all-wheel drive variants are on their way. The new front drive delivers an extra 50 kilos of payload and 80 millimetres lower loading sill. There are two new transmissions in the front wheel drive with a nine speed automatic and a new standard six speed manual. There's also now an optional 9-speed auto with paddle shift along with the tried and proven 7-speed self-shifter. Standard safety equipment is extensive with a range of electronic technology including active brake assist, blind spot assist, lane keep and front and side airbags for the driver and co-driver as well as many other features too extensive to name here. A big step up are the high def display screens and the new multimedia systems. The Sprinter gets the new latest Benz MBUX multimedia system with either a 7 inch HD display or an optional 10.25 inch unit which is controlled via steering wheel controls or the new touchscreen display as well as voice control. How can I help you? The majority of the new Sprinter models are powered by the 2.1 litre 4 cylinder turbo diesel with 84 kilowatts, 105 kilowatts or 120 kilowatts in rear drive and in front drive you can get 85 kilowatt, 105 kilowatt or a motorhome configuration boasting 130 kilowatts of power. There's also a new V6 3 litre turbo diesel which delivers 140 kilowatts of power and 440 newton metres of torque, making it the only six cylinder in the large van segment. The new Sprinter achieves further progress with comfort, quietness and smoothness, as well as new equipment including keyless ignition and entry, optimised air conditioning, new and very comfortable seats, improved visibility and a wide variety of adjustments for driver comfort. Optional electrically adjusted front seats are new in the van segment. It also boasts optional loadable wheel arches and fully usable load compartment heights in combination with front wheel drive which increases the versatility of the load compartment. The maximum load capacity is now up to 17 cubic metres and up to 5 tonnes. The maximum payload in the 5 tonner is now 2,920 kilograms. Further customization is possible thanks to options including LED lights, bulkheads and special barn doors opening to the sidewall. Driving wise, all of the Sprinters we sampled had car-like handling which are as smooth and fuss free as a Benz limo and stop and steer better than any van or light truck we've ever driven very low noise levels. We were particularly impressed with the cab chassis models which give light truck buyers a viable and more comfortable alternative to the Japanese cab over light truck chassis alternatives. The Sprinter van range is quite well priced starting from just $46,008 plus on roads while the cab chassis truck pricing kicks off at $41,238 for the 311 CDI single cab. But you can have a look at all the pricing details in the Sprinter story on our website at www.truckandbus.net.au Well there you have it, the new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. Mercedes is already the market leader and I'm sure this van is going to give the opposition plenty to think about in the coming years. Until next time, thanks for watching and drive safely.